My name is Tice Van Ryden. I'm a multimedia production artist. Essentially, I just take different forms of medium and put them all into one and hopefully make an image or a piece that speaks for itself. A lot of my stuff is spontaneous, but also colorful and a little dark. I try to bring all elements of a lot of different mediums into one. At work, I'm a full-time graphic designer, so I just go in, we shoot photography, and then like I help edit the photos and get them going towards web. <laughs> right now, I'm working on a couple different pieces for a grant exhibition at the end of August. Um, I got funded by Minnesota to do this project. So I got a consistent group of canvases, essentially doing the same type of style on a series of paintings around 10 to 15. But I'll probably show some work too that I've done in the past. But uh, on the side, when I'm not doing my grant, I'm also just doing commission, whether that be like doing wall murals for businesses or painting people's favorite action figures. I'll do that. My work is actually very surreal, but also I try to bring familiar forms in as well. But a lot of it's just subconscious movements and overlaying. And sometimes a lot of pieces as well, I'll just not even like it but paint over it and because I paint it over it it turns into something completely different which sometimes that's called mistakes but I call it like a push in the right direction sort of like a few of my paintings actually have like five or six paintings under them before they actually make a piece that I actually enjoy um, I think a lot of people look at it and are slightly confused until they really start to like get the idea on how long it actually took to get where it's at and then they start to like unfold these ideas and the past experiences that give them an image. It's definitely about process, um, the process of making it and also the process of thinking about it. Some of my stuff is doesn't make sense, but the more you look at it, the more understanding you get from it. I hope that they get inspired. Um, I always emphasize on people trying to just, people are always like, I wish I could paint. And I'm like, you can, and I, I feel like that, that um, question or that response always comes after they look at something. They're like, I wish I could do that, and that just means that they think they probably can. They just don't do it. I don't know why, but I always just say, you can do it. And whether people take that lightly or actually take something from that, I hope to inspire somebody to pick up a brush and copy it or do something with it. Well, it's nice having the experience I do from like my job and my background with my degree because I'll actually take photos of my work and if a glare is off or you know something, I can digitally render it to make it look regular, like normal, which is nice, but sometimes it's, you know what I mean? Like you can get lost in editing your picture and then it's like, <laughs> you switch back to the original and like, oh. I could have just kept it, but um, I do. I do like to think that I would eventually like to be multimedia, as in like I digitalize something, then print it, and then paint over it. I do that a little bit, but that's kind of the reason why I moved into a new space where I can just get the whole place dirty and just I don't know, essentially use different elements without the, pulling it out. And, like, Hopefully just have everything set up all at once. Photo studio, design desk. So I can literally paint a picture, take a photo of it, edit it, and put it online within an hour. That would be the process I'd like to get into quickly. Roscoe, come here. Come here. Yeah, boy. This is my dog. He's a little camera shy. Uh, within five years, I'd hopefully like to live in somewhat of a metropolitan area, have somewhat of an online following, and I would, I really envision myself doing larger scale stuff. Like, it's easier for me to paint big, so I'd really like to be doing commissioned murals by, like, the city, or this business wants a mural, and I'm your go-to guy to do it. And with that, I would probably... I. It's so funny, some people are asked, you know, 
I want one of your pieces when you get famous, but technically I don't want to be famous. Why would you ever want to be a famous artist? Then the fun of it is gone, you know? I think it's mysterious not really being known, but being busy at the same time. So with that, I'd like to just be, be myself and have jobs and make a living, I guess. I mean, I'm looking for a huge amount of money. Um, I'd like to live alone. That's always a dream of mine, so this is kind of a new one. Other than that, I have a wife, kids, studio, more dogs, more animals in general. I'd like to have like a studio on the farm. That would be awesome. Russell will be the duchess of the house. And then I'll have like big dogs outside. <laughs> yeah.